something that I really find attractive and does not exist in Gaza, which is Pazar Ramadan. It's an opportunity for all. It's very inclusive. People can find food. It's available everywhere. So it's a very good approach. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am Heba. I'm from Palestine, specifically from Gaza, and I've been here in Malaysia for the past seven years, quite a long time. I am an architecture student at UCM, second year. As the holy month of Ramadan begins, Muslims around the world have their own way of celebrating this month. As from my experience of spending Ramadan in Gaza and in Malaysia, I can tell that each of them has its its own unique vibes and essence. For example, um, about food in Ramadan in Gaza, we have this new special dishes such as samosa or samosa as uh, people call it, vegetable soup. And then after breaking our fast, praying, we have this um, dessert called kataif, which is like um, pank a small pancake dumpling stuffed with um, cheese, nuts, and shredded coconut. Um, sometimes dates and. With, the, with this current time, people kind of like modernize the kataif and do it with different colors and even different flavors such as Nutella. Oh, mentioning tarawih, we usually like um, the family go to tarawih to pray together. There's musulla for, uh, for women, for ladies, so uh, we pray. And then after tarawih, we come back home, the family, the whole family gathers. As for the ibadah, and um, as I believe every Muslim should do and be doing, which is reciting Quran, praying jama'ah at home. So I remember back in Gaza, I used to recite Quran with my grandpa and my cousin. So we have a backyard, so we would gather and recite with him. He would encourage us to, you know, finish the whole Quran in, uh, in Ramadan. He does finish it more than twice or thrice, but we try our best as kids. I remember as well, like my cousins and I would uh, play some, some games, some traditional games. We'd play them on a daily basis, but in Ramadan, like more intensely, we'd play them every day so that, you know, we entertain ourselves, we do not feel the time, especially that we fast about 14 to 15 hours in, in Gaza, in Palestine. In fact, as for Sahur, a man called Musa Harati uh, wanders the street, he has a big drum, so he starts banging on his drums and say, Ya Nayim Wahid Daim, O sleepy man. Uh, wake up and praise your God. And he says, so, you know, so uh, he's a lovely guy. So for like each neighborhood, there's one Musaharati that does this job as you know a form of charity to wake people up. For Sahur, we mainly have very very simple uh, dishes like yogurt, jam, something called halawa. It's a bit sweet, but not sweet in a way that makes us feel thirsty. Along with mangoes, my dad always used to do, which is buy mangoes, especially for sahur. In fact, comparing the sahur with futur, sahur takes place in like the household, like just the family, as for like my parents and my, my siblings, that's it. But for futur, the whole family gathers. So for example, my grandpa has his like his own building for his sons. So whenever his a son of his gets married, he builds him another story with a, like a small flat. And then after the family, you know, kind of like extends and gets bigger. Um, so basically, our my grandpa's building is about three stories. And in Ramadan, each one, each, each one of the wives like prepare a dish and then we like take it down to the ground floor to my grandpa's house and then we eat together. So that's how Sahur and Fatur goes. From my experience of spending about seven years and the eighth is about to come, Ramadan's in Malaysia, something that I really find attractive and does not exist in Gaza, which is Pazar Ramadan. It's an opportunity for all. It's very inclusive. People can find food. It's available everywhere. So it's a very good approach. As for my favorite dishes uh, in Pazar, Pazar Ramadan, so there's satay, which is like barbecue, comes with meat and chicken. It reminds me of our barbecue. So like the smell, the, this essence of barbecue is there. Uh, there is also something <laughs> that's quite like a squarish and uh, has like two layers. I think it's called pandan, pandan, yes, green and white. Um, there is also mortaba, a fried mortaba. I think it comes in like different flavors as well. So it's 
sit down. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Lastly, I'd like to give a pisan pisan to all Muslims around the world to feel the gratefulness of Ramadan and celebrate it together with the family, with everyone. Ramadan Mubarak wa kul'aam wa antum bi